Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Game Mechanics and our topic for today is Anti-Keras. It's a physical defense item that has a unique passive called Deter. It works by reducing the enemy hero's physical attack if you are hit with a skill. Each skill damage received will lower their physical attack by 8% for 2 seconds and it can stack up to 3 times. So at maximum stack, that's minus 24% attack. When to use this? It's good against physical heroes that use skills as their main source of damage. Example is Granger. His first skill is his main damage source and each bullet counts as one stack for Dieter. By the time his first skill is done, Dieter is already at full stacks. If we take a look at this damage, we can see it going down for each bullet. It's also a good counter against Paquito because his main damage source is his skills. He spams continuously making it easy to reach full stack. So I tested the tier on different heroes and I found some interesting stuff. First one is Hayabusa. His first skill can easily reach the full stack of the tier because it hits multiple times. Each damage from his kunai counts as one stack and as you know, the tier only needs three. But the interesting stuff is about his ultimate. Dieter is not applied when he's in ultimate form because of his immunity. Despite dealing multiple skill damage, his physical attack remains the same because he has immunity for the duration of his ultimate. Same thing for Lancelot's second skill. It only applies one stack of Dieter even though the skill deals multiple damage. And the reason is the same as Hayabusa, it's because of immunity. But despite its immunity problem, the pair is still good to use against those two heroes. Their build relies on having high physical attack and the pair is a powerful counter for those types of build. Next are the enhanced basic attacks like Aldous's first skill. They are still basic attack damage which means they can't trigger the turn. Same for skills that have basic attack properties. Examples are Claude's ultimate and Link's second skill. They don't trigger the turn because their damage is considered as basic attacks. So with all those restrictions, is it still good to use anti -Kiras? The answer is a big yes. You can use it to counter physical skill based heroes like Lapu Lapu, Balmond, Alucard, and Benedetta. Don't use it on heroes that rely on basic attacks. Examples are Wan Wan, Claude, Leslie, and Hanem. Remember, you can't trigger the tier with basic attacks, only skills. But despite its limited counter, Anti Kiras remains a top defense item because of its stats. At 54 physical defense and 920 HP, it has the highest armor and HP combination of any item. The stats alone is enough for you to buy this item. There's also a budget version of anti Kiras and it's called Dreadnought Armor. It has a weaker version of Deter and it only costs 730 gold. But what if multiple enemies are using anti Kiras? Will Deter's effect add up? Here is Fanny with an initial physical attack of 334. She's gonna hit Brother three layers using anti Kiras. <laughs> From 334, it became 93. That's minus 72% physical attack. So the answer is yes, the turret can stack if you use the multiple hits. If there are 5 enemies with anti kiras your physical attack will go negative like this. And did you know that if you have negative physical attack, you can actually heal the enemy? Here is an example. So Lancelot starts at 310. After going through a bunch of leaders, his attack is now negative 509. Watch what happens when he hits the other leaders. As you can see, the enemy is healed instead of receiving damage. So what can you say about anti -Kiras? Are you already using this item? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.